What's going on guys? In this episode we're going to be exploring ethical issues in psychological research. To protect participants when undergoing psychological studies, the British Psychological Society or BPS has developed ethical guidelines for psychologists to follow when designing their studies. These guidelines are formal principles which define what is considered to be acceptable and unacceptable, including advice on deception, consent and psychological harm. Let's examine each of these and more in detail. Informed consent. According to BPS guidelines, participants of a study should always give informed consent having been told the aims and nature of the study before agreeing. It is also imperative that they are made fully aware of their right to withdraw from the study at any stage. Participants under the age of 16 can't legally give consent, although a parent or guardian can. With naturalistic observation, remember we looked at this previously, consent is not obtained. This is acceptable as long as the research is conducted in a public location where people would expect to be observed by others. Deception Participants who have been deceived can't give informed consent, however, there are occasions when a researcher must withhold information about the study to ensure the participants behave naturally. BPS guidelines state that researchers must only use deception if there is strong scientific justification for it and there is no alternative procedure available to obtain the data. Protection from harm. This one's a little hard to assess. According to BPS guidelines, the risk of harm to participants should be no greater than they would face in their normal lives. Remember, research procedures may involve physical and psychological discomfort. Unfortunately, it's impossible for researchers to always know in advance what may be distressing for participants. Debriefing. The purpose of the debrief is to return the participants to the state they were before the research took place. This is especially important if deception has been used within the study. It is also imperative to remind the participants of their right to withdraw. This includes the data they have generated during the study. Confidentiality. Participants of a study must be warned that their data is not going to be completely anonymous. However, the data collected during research must be confidential. As a researcher, you can't use people's names in the reports. In essence, no participant of a study should be identifiable. Hopefully this gives you guys a better understanding of ethical issues in psychological research. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you in the next one. Peace.